today's challenge between photoshop and affinity is how to do this popular effect in affinity all right so let's create for instagram post um 1080 by 1350 let's click create now let's go up here to pixel and new fill layer so when we click over here we are changing the color so let's pick a color from here all right now let's bring the image all right so grab the move tool and place it somewhere here all right let's scale it down so let's come over here click this and pick black and white so let's push the red back to negative seven or negative let's make it negative 10. all right then after that let's drag and drop it on top of this image so that it affects only this image all right so let's select the layer and then let's go to pixel and then let's come to new live filter layer and let's come to colors and voronoir okay so with this one we have to drag this one to zero and let's make this three okay click okay so in there we got some features in there so if i open this up and we can turn the voronoir off you can see what happens okay cool now let's close it and let's grab the text tool so t on the keyboard this guy will pop up okay make sure you select the first one and let's type so you can click drag to have a preview of the size so i'll type all right so I'm, the font that i'm going to use is geroy black let me use heavy rather okay so this is it and the link to uh, the resources that i'm using both the font and the image in the description all right so i'll place it here So in the layers let's duplicate this one drag one onto that on top of the text and let's hide it so select this one and add layer mask now let's grab a solid round brush so in a brush panel you can go to um, view and somewhere here we got customized toolbar and we got panels so you can search for brush so make sure it is checked you got it here now click on the acrylics and you have basic so we are selecting the round brush this one the hard one all right so let's grab the brush b on the keyboard and let's hide these pixels As a graphic designer, you've come across motion flyers. If not, this is what I mean. So what you are seeing right here were static flyers brought to life in Adobe After Effects. And I'm sure you want to know more about this. Hi there, I'm Emmanuel. And welcome to the ultimate fly animation crash course with cool graphics from 2d to 3d fly animation in adobe after effects which include five solid topics and this is what we will learn in this course we will first of all start with the basics of after effects covering each and every single tool in after effects and master the transform options which are the backbone of motion flyers in after effects and the best part of this is we will learn how to create flyers from scratch in adobe after effects yes not photoshop adobe after effects from scratch which will help you get solid understanding of the tools in adobe after effects and from there we will learn how to import and animate photoshop flyers including the ones we create from scratch in after effects then we move on to 3d animations we will start with the basics of the camera tool camera options the null objects and any other tool that makes 3d animations possible in adobe after effects 
and finally move on to polish our skills with top notch 2d and 3d projects so we'll take a look at a couple of projects that we will polish our hands with This and many more that we will cover in this crash course all videos are available on google drive to download and practice at your own pace and a big discount for the first 100 people especially those who have subscribed to cool graphics channel on youtube motion flyers is not a trend that's a whole new skill on its own so grab those scores and upgrade your skills as well as your portfolio today so after this in the layers let's turn this guy back on click and drag onto the text so we got this now select the text layer with the clipped image and come to fx so we are adding outline click the name and check the box change the color to white and the radius let's make it one pixel after that look uh, let's come to outer shadow check it and let's increase the radius and the uh, offset all right so we can change the angle to the side you can lower the opacity okay now that's it all right so you can grab the rectangle tool and then create a rectangle over here then change the color so with this you can change the blend mode to darken or multiply so you can choose one now let's select this layer okay create a new layer and then drag it on top to clip it okay so with this one let's grab the brush but before that let's change the new layer the blend mode to color so scroll down and you can find color here all right So when it comes to this part, we will open this up, right, and select this and create a new layer and then brush. And after that, we change the blend mode to color. All right, so that's it and you can choose to add strokes or those lines so grab the pencil key on the keyboard and you can just have a line like that so up here you can see we have fill over here make sure you take it out and you can pick a color you can click this and sample a color from here this is the stroke size all right then you can pick an ellipse or a square or something You can take the stroke out and then have a fail color from there. All right. All right. So that is that. Thanks for watching and kindly subscribe. I'm out. Peace.